So you're going to share your inspirational quotes on Instagram and step up, like make the thing that could change the world, make the thing that could affect someone. Don't just give me Mickey Mouse bullshit that's going to get views. Why do we create? Is it to get views, money, and fame? For our dad to finally say, son, son, son I'm, proud I'm proud of you. Of you. I'm still waiting the day. Or is it to say something, to change the world around us and for a brief second that we are alive to show that we actually exist? But if fame is the end game, then you're just like one of those reality stars with the up faces because you've had so much plastic surgery and like, what are you doing? What are you offering the world? Like, why are you here? Just like you are falling in the trap of searching for views. I've been creating for the algorithm instead of creating for me, but no longer. Now I want, if I, if I could zoom, I would zoom like this, and I said, but I, this zoom doesn't have a zoom. This is like the how of it. Like, so I, I can do it like this. But now <laughs> I want to create like easy night now. Okay, but why Casey Neistat? In a city that is full of successful YouTubers that get millions of views like Mr. Beast, why would you want to emulate the career of a YouTuber that technically is already retired? Okay, yeah, nice cinematic scenes. <laughs> I'm cleaning my clothes, so that's why I'm, I'm here. You see, I can't take the YouTube of nowadays. Everything is so overproduced that it feels so unhuman. And unlike the old days where people didn't have the budget to optimize everything, well, I don't know, nowadays it, I can't take it. I just see it and I, I, I don't feel any emotions when I look at the videos. Maybe Mr. Beast is improving on that nowadays. He's way better at it, but still, most of the YouTube is just optimized, optimized, optimized. Every second counts and it's so unperfect that it becomes well, no, I don't think it's perfect. I, I, I think it doesn't work. But you see, when you watch the Casey Neistat vlogs, it really felt like you knew this person. It was so unperfect that the, the shots were crooked. Sometimes the audio wasn't well, the lighting was crap often, and still it worked because it was so unperfectly human and I miss that. That's what I want in my content. Okay, let's film somewhere else. Now, here's another reason. Casey Neistat has always had a filmmaking background. And, just like me, well, I am kind of a filmmaker-ish. Well, that's my job. I make videos for a living and that's how I can buy my roof and my food. I make publicities for companies and I've been doing this for four years now, like making a living. So I, I like good looking shots. I like good told stories and just following the path of seeking for views doesn't really work for me. I think Casey Neistat always put story as king. Story. Story is all that matters. Story is golden. And that made his videos so entertaining. So they had something inside. They, they, they had a soul because there, there was a story inside. And, and I think that came from filmmaking. And, I, uh, and that's why, I don't know, we, we connect in the filmmaking industry. Story is king. Everything serves the king. All of this is just here to serve the story. I don't even like movies that much. I don't even like cameras or all the settings, but I, I do like creating and, and doing it properly and knowing how to do it properly. So yeah, doesn't mean I, I actually managed to do it. I'm just saying that I, I try my best. So yeah. Beautiful day outside. Look at look at that. It's sunny. It's been it's been raining the entire week and now it's sunny. I should go outside instead of being locked inside. But I need to edit this video, so I can't really go outside. I could go with this in the computer. That's why I bought it. Nice. It's all coming along. You see, to me, the algorithm makes me depressed. Looking at the feed of YouTube and seeing what is successful nowadays just makes me feel like I'm un incompetent and that I'm not enough and I don't, I don't like it because I don't want to make those videos but that's what people supposedly want. So looking at the algorithm makes me completely depressed and I don't want to follow it. But Casey and I said technically never really followed the algorithm. He just did what he wanted and what he felt that was true to him. And I put next to no value on, none. But when people aspire just to get that view count up, to me, it's a race to the bottom. I fucking hate it. And I do think it's because of people not knowing what to do 
So they look to see, well, who's successful? That's how I'm successful. Let me be that. Right now, summer is coming. Well, spring. I don't know, spring, I guess. And there's a bunch of pollen flying around. And I know people suffer from it, but it's so beautiful. I love it. Anyways, freedom. That's what Casey Neistat was all about. Creating exactly what you want, no matter the repercussions. Just being free to do what you want and not following the algorithm. That's that's key, and, and I admire that. Good stuff. It requires sort of an introspection of like, no, why do I want to do this? What is true to me? And then you go and do that. And maybe you'll find success, and maybe you won't, but at least it'll be true. Good stuff. I swear this is like 10 minutes after I film. Look, look at this. Look at this. It's already raining. It's raining, like 10 minutes. It was sunny like five minutes ago, and now it's raining. Why do you do this to us, Belgium? Why? Okay, but how? How could you possibly create like Casey Neistat? He's definitely quite a specific individual, so how could you emulate what he has created? Oh, look at that. I'm in space now. Isn't that cool? Crazy how I have oxygen here, isn't that? Well, of course, it's not space. It's, it's just my TV. Anyways. Was that cringe? I think it was a bit cringe, but I like this. I like it. Always, always nice to have a bit of cringe. It's always healthy. I think the first step to be a bit closer to who Casey Neistat is, is hard work. Luck is where preparation meets opportunity. The other day I showed Casey Neistat to my brother who has never seen it, and he told me like, oh, so, so he's the David Goggins of YouTube. And it was like, yeah, that's, that's pretty much who he is. He, he's the David Goggins of YouTube. He wakes up at 4.30 in the morning every day. He has two children. He has companies. He did 800 daily vlogs straight in a row without stopping. 800. That's how many days in a row I uploaded a video for, for my daily vlog. He is a hard working and he did it alone well like he had some help here and there but most of his edit his shooting everything he did it alone hard work that's key for him and i think that's that's key lesson that i want to incorporate in my life and i'm trying to but but i want to do it even even better someone who starts something and doesn't finish something that is a loser someone who starts something and always finishes it that is a closer. That's why I want to create daily videos. Daily videos are the essence of hard work. How could you possibly create harder than just every single day making a video? So yeah, daily videos. We're gonna start and this is the first one and tomorrow there will gonna be another one and I hope I'll be able to keep on that going till I just achieve what I want. I just wanna make internet videos. I'm going to make a movie every day. A proper daily vlog. Hard work, that's, that's Casey Neistat. Okay, yeah, so as you guessed it, the next part of all of this is cinematics. Cinematics, there you go. The point is Casey Neistat, like I said, comes from a background of filmmaking. So he definitely knows how to make a video look cinematic, look cool, uh, well lit, not like this video, how do, there you go. So essentially, my creations uh, lately has been like, I, I try to aim a bit of like the Samsung style, which is just honest human creation and just like not a lot of cost, not a lot of production, but it doesn't really align with, with how I make videos because I know that I know how to make a good looking video. So making less than the absolute best that I can do feels wrong to me. And in the same way, Casey Neistat knows how to tell a story in a cinematic way that is well told. And he has the skills to make it look pretty and, and, and cinematic. So if he doesn't do that, it, it doesn't align with his values. And I, I wanna align with that. So make it again, make something terrible, make it slightly better, make it a lot better, make it great. Essentially what I'm saying is less long videos, more editing, more cool shots. That's how you make a Casey Neistat video. Just work harder in the shots, work harder in the editing, and that's that's the key. That's one. That's the second key. Anyway, there you go. I think I think I proved my point. I, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm explaining myself very poorly. I don't know. I'll see it in the editing. Okay, technically I already touched a bit this point in this video, but the third skill that makes Casey Neistat Casey Neistat is creative freedom. Essentially, just being able to create whatever you want, whenever you want, without 
being interrupted by the views or what the world is creating or what the world demands. You just create what you want. And that's definitely something that Casey Neistat does and I've been feeling like I've lost it a bit in the last year. Three days ago, I started a new series where I learned for 30 days one skill and I was starting to make a video about 3D. I made the first episode and it was enjoyable. I My skills in 3D were pretty cool, I would say. This is what I managed to create in just one day. Wow! So pretty cool. So, But I started to question myself like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing 30 days? Am I doing 30 days because I want to do 3D for 30 days? Or am I doing 3D for 30 days just because there's so many videos in, in YouTube that say, oh, I did this for 30 days that it will be good for the algorithm and it will be a good chance to be seen. And I think it's, it's more that. <laughs> it's like, I like 3D, but it started to be so painful to think like, oh, I have to do this for 30 days. Why am I doing this? Why? So instead I decided to do this. Whatever video I want to do, daily. So there's hard work, there's freedom of creativity, and there's cinematics because I want to do the videos really well. So yeah, I got my pawn there. I'm gonna be like Casey next time. Unfortunately, here's a little setback. I have voices inside my head. Mean freaking voices. You're nothing like Casey Neistat. You don't even have the skills that he has. You don't even have sunglasses. You don't even manage to wake up before seven. Hey, no one cares about your life. Again, you don't have sunglasses. This is my depressive face. <laughs> Okay, to be honest, I don't even want to be like Casey Neistat. And even if I wanted to, I don't think I could possibly be like Casey Neistat. He's completely different to me. But you know, I can still try to follow some of the lessons that he has taught us throughout his career. Hard work and authenticity. That's what it's all about. That's what he has taught us. He's a genius and we have to follow... That's better lighting. We have to follow what he has shown us. Hard work and authenticity. That's why, what, how we get where we want. I think that makes sense. To conclude, here's my challenge. I've always wanted an electric skateboard like Casey Neistat has. And now I'm a big boy, so I can afford it. But it's not exactly the smartest of investments right now. So to allow myself to buy this unnecessary toy, I have to do 30 consecutive daily movies in this channel. And if I do, and if I do I manage that, I allow myself to buy myself an electric skateboard. Does that make sense? Yes. So, let's see if tomorrow I'm back with another video. But in the meantime, you can look at this cool ass video where I built for the first time something with wood, woodworking, and I built this cool ass shoe rack. Hope you like it.